lifestyle. Hola everyone and Pura Vida from Costa Rica. Juan Carlos and I are bringing you a super, super special video today. But before we get started, Juan Carlos, who is this amazingly beautiful woman standing between us? This beautiful, amazing woman is my mom, Mama Digna. Mama Digna. Hola, Mama Digna. Hola. <laughs> Todos. So Mama Digna is gracing us today in our kitchen here at our home. And Juan Carlos, what, is, what are we doing? What's happening? Maqueo. ¿Qué va a ser? Olla de carne. Tipi you... Típica de Costa Rica. Exactly. So it's a typical dish of Costa Rica. It happens to be my favorite thing that Mama makes. Every time I arrive in Costa Rica, she's got a hot plate of olla de carne ready for me. And Juan Carlos, tell everybody about the dish a little bit. Well, the dish, again, is very traditional. It's, uh, it's a soup or a soup. Similar to yeah. the boil... Kind of uh, like the boiled dinner, similar yes. that we've made on the channel. So yeah, yeah it, it's got um, um, meat and um, some vegetables like potatoes, yuca, chayote, yuca papa. platano, papa, yeah. camote. Mm -hmm. camote. Oh, and camote, mm -hmm. see. So we're going to follow Mama in the kitchen. She is going to show us her recipe and we're sharing it with all of you. Now listen. This is extremely special, you guys, because to get it from a true tika, Mama Digna, a tika who knows her way around the kitchen, this is the most delicious, delicious soup or stew. So we encourage you to make it. Oje de carne de Costa Rica, Mama Digna. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. All right, <laughs> let's get to the kitchen. Yay! <laughs> She's getting the yuca first because yuca is soft. Mm -hmm. La yuca es muy suave y el, el ayote. And also the ayote. And what is ayote in English? Ayote, ayote mm -hmm. is a squash. It's a squash. It's like an acorn squash. Ah, oh, okay. See? Yes, gotcha. Camote. And camote, which is very similar to sweet potato. Pretty much the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a sweet potato. Mm -hmm. So camote, sweet potato, papas, yuca. Yuca. Um, Ilote, corn, dicen corn. corn in the cob. Yep, corn on the cob. Cut the pieces. Zanahoria. Carrots. Carrots. Mm-hmm. has got lots going on in there. And then the ajote, which is again... And we refer to that in English as what again? Acorn squash. Acorn squash. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So pretty much you can get all of these ingredients in the United States. The, the one you might have a hard time finding is yuca, but pretty much everything else you can get. Le echamos encima para que, para que hierva primero lo de abajo. So what she's doing is she moved the, the veggies, the hard veggies are in the bottom and the soft ones are in the, in the top. Okay. That way those are going to boil first. I see. So the hard vegetables. Bueno, ahora que ya está así, se le echa el caldo de la carne aquí. Okay. ¿Cuánto tiempo tú soltando la carne? Tres horas. Tres horas. A que no no sabe qué temperatura. Alto. No, lento, lento. Fuego bajo. Okay. So she was. This is the meat, and she had this cooking for three hours at uh, low low burning. Mm -hmm. um, so all the meat, the, the flavor, all is in the juice. Mm -hmm. And the meat, just so everybody knows, is similar to what we would do. Uh, so you can buy a, um, a broil or a mm -hmm. pot roast. Uh, those would work best for this dish. What carne is Cecina y costilla. Cecina y costilla de res. Cecina and uh, ribs. Mm -hmm. And it's all beef. Yep, mm -hmm. all beef. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to pour the juices and the meat in with the vegetables. Traiga, papo, que va a ser. 
Se la we're gonna let Juan sin. Carlos do that because that's heavy. Oh no, Mama's gonna do it. She's gonna do it. Mama's strong. Mm -hmm. that yummy goodness. There we go. There's the carne on top. So again, one of the secrets that Mama shared with us is that you want to take your harder vegetables and those are going to be on the bottom and then your softer vegetables at the top. Why? Because heat rises. So your hotter part of the pot is going to be the bottom and you want that so everything cooks evenly. Pretty good idea. Three hours, the meat and a low simmer that gets nice and tender. And now we're going to put everything else on. Cuanto horas, Mama? Una hora. Una hora. Y que se lo pongo en alto. En temp no, tem alto. temperatura. Temperatura high. High. So one hour at a high temperature. We're going to cover it. Una hora y está cocinando. So no más um, sí, sí. liquid. Ah, que sí, que sí. Una liquid. botellita de aquellas. Okay. Eh. Ya o después? No, ya. Ah, yes, we need one bottle of water. We now. need to add some water. Okay. Sí, porque tiene, no, no está tapando la, la yuca ni el ayote. Ah, yeah, you need to cover. So the water needs to cover the, the yuca and the ayote. ¿Así o más? No, dejémosla así, porque bueno. la verdura siempre... Baja. No, más bien, la verdura siempre suelta... Un poquito de agua, la papa, el ayote, el ilote, el chayote. She's saying that that's enough because the vegetables always, you know, get juicy from their own mm -hmm. juice. So that, that should be enough. I'm excited. My mouth is watering. I can smell the aroma, obviously, of the beef. It's amazing. And now all of that's going to cook together. So, yeah, if you've ever had like a low country boil... Eh, that's seafood, but a New England boil, similar, mm -hmm. um, or pot roast, similar. Uh, but this is a very traditional dish here in Costa Rica. And then it's also served with rice. So we're going to be making some fresh rice as well. Gotcha, yeah. And we'll, we'll show you Mama's secret and how we make the rice. And also, you can buy here in the supermarkets. They already sell uh, like a pre-cut mix of veggies for um, olla de carne. But my mom likes to, you know, chuck she likes to do it herself. Yeah, yeah. Herself, so. yeah, so if you find yourself here in Costa Rica, you could probably find a pre-mix, but uh, you're not going to find that in the USA Fair or enough. abroad in other countries probably. Mm -hmm. So we'll show you more in just a bit. Stay tuned. Okay, so now everything is on the stove, and Mama's going to tell us also, which is real important, obviously the seasoning. What does she put into the olla de carne? So Juan Carlos and Mama, tell us. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que le pone la olla de carne? Los, los condimentos, los olores. Eh, Los olores. Mm -hmm. Tomillo. Thyme. Orégano. Thyme, orégano. Chile dulce. Bell peppers. Apio. And celery. And celery. Excellent. And it's done in a beef broth or a beef bouillon. Mm -hmm. Either one. You could use the bouillon cubes or the beef broth powder, or you can buy the, you know, the beef yeah. broth. Después. Este, I want to... Consomé de costilla de res. Sí, ese es el beef bouillon que uh -huh. acabo de mencionar. Perfecto. Uh -huh. And then she also told us, too, it's important at the beginning, we mentioned three hours of cooking the meat. She does tres horas, three hours, at high temperature, stirring the beef, and then she, she uses a pressure cooker. So the very last 30 minutes, put the lid on, close it, and do 30 minutes of high pressure cooking for the ending. So yeah. it's actually three hours and 30 minutes. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tres horas, tres y media. Sí. But remember, sí. the first three hours is in low, low yeah. temperature. It's a lower, not yeah. a hot. So yeah. it's a low, medium temp, exactly. And then put it up mm -hmm. for the final 30 minutes. Exactly. Excellent. And then we got about an hour here. So you're looking at approximately anywhere from four and a half to five hours of cooking time. It's not a short dish. Just cooking time, then yeah. you have to take into account prep, prep, prep preparation. Yeah. So. Cutting all your vegetables and all that. But yeah, muy delicioso. Sí, ma? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Muchas gracias. <laughs> What's happening? She's now making homemade rice. 
-hmm. and it's the her recipe. It's her recipe, <laughs> the same recipe that I know. But I don't know what they do. Dos, porque una para lavarlo y otra para. Ah, está para allá. I'm going to take a peek. Oh, mama, show me. Ya está, ya está, Juan, apáguela. Mm -hmm. She said it's ready. Es que sabía que ella yuca parte porque estaba ya muy cocinado. Ah, we think it's ready? Sí. Ya todo está. Ah, la apago, lo pongo en... Apáguela, apáguela porque con eso caliente. I like it caliente. So she took this one. Oh, already because it's very soft. So she doesn't want it to get. Ah, okay. Yeah. So she took out a yuca. Encima para que esté caliente. Excellent. Mm -hmm. It's all ready. So now we're going to prepare the rice. So Mama's using a rice cooker. Uh, and this is the same recipe Juan Carlos has showed us before, too. He makes homemade rice really, really good because he learned it from her. So we need to get some water, and uh, Juan Carlos, about how much water do we need? Uh, first, we need to, actually, we don't need to do this anymore, like wash the, the rice, because now it's pretty washed and all that, but it's the way she does it. So uh, once it's washed, we use like, I just use a, my, my own measure. It's water to top the rice, and then like, the, just the uh, first knuckle, knuckle. Uh, yeah, knuckle. Yes. <laughs> that's 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 how you taught me. Yeah. So. Aquí está esta agua. Uy. Sí. Mama brought. Viene revuelto con ajo, cebolla, chile dulce. So we got water, onions, chile dulce, which is red peppers, and manteca. Manteca. ¿Qué es esto manteca, Wonky? Oil. I'm sorry. Oil. Oh, oil. That's fat. Oh, so yeah, so fat. We typically will put a little olive oil in ours, but Mama's using the good stuff. Se le echa manteca y aceite. And then she's also got. And that's. Aceite. What is this? Oil. Aceite. I don't oil. know. She brought oil. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so she brought her own oil too. So one car is putting the water, and again, it's only like a knuckle yeah. deep. Yeah. Así sí. Yep. That's about one cup of rice for what we need. See? Sí. Yeah. And then she's yeah, because it's only three of us. Salt. And a little bit of salt in the water. Pinch of salt. Or two. <laughs> and then all of those ingredients. And the reason you put the little bit of fat and the little bit of oil in there is it makes your rice not sticky. And that's important. Mm hmm yeah, because otherwise the rice will be all like a big bowl. Yeah. Some people like a sticky rice. That's yeah, very popular in Asian like dishes. Yeah, I do. But we like a fluffy rice. I prefer <laughs> fluffy yeah. and like very... Si, sí, masago. Si. Sí. Mama yeah. wanted more water. Okay. Yeah, we like it like more fluffy and just a little drier. There we go. All of the ingredients. Now we're going to put it over here in our handy dandy rice cooker. This yeah. is a small rice cooker because we make it. Yeah, it's just small. us. Little. And that little takes about what? 30 then. minutes? 40, 40, 40 minutes to one hour, depending. Like if you're using uh, whole grain yeah, rice, it'll take longer. then it'll take like an hour. For white, uh, it'll take like 40 minutes or so. There we go, everyone. Simplemente, the rice is cooking. Oja de carne is done. So in one hour, we're going to be eating. Perfect timing because it's just now 7 p.m. here in Costa Rica. So we'll be having dinner right around 8 o'clock, mm -hmm. which is excellent. Cannot wait. Mm -hmm. Arroz, estuvo? Sí. Todo bien? Sí. Mm -hmm. That rice is done. As we say here in Costa Rica, huele rico, which means I really wish you could smell the aroma, it smells amazing in our kitchen right now. Between the rice and the oje de carne, my mouth is literally, it's watering right now. I cannot wait.
to dig in and show you guys this beautiful, beautiful dinner that Mama has totally prepared for us. See, Mama? Bien? Bien? Mm -hmm. Gracias a Dios. Mm -hmm. Juan Carlos has got the bowls out. Mm -hmm. We serve it in a bowl. And then we put the rice on the side so you can kind of add it as you like. Mm -hmm. La carne. Nice big piece of meat. Yuca. La yuca. Mm -hmm. A veces tiene unos palitos. A little bit of the skin. Mama's taking off the yuca. Ayote. 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 Gracias. on the bottom because that is one of the harder veggies. Mm. Grande. Se la come entera? Pregúntele allí si entera o le parto a la mitad. You want the whole thing or just half? Ah, uh, todo, sí. Sí, bueno. <laughs> Top it off with some beautiful broth. Mm -hmm. There you have it. Beautiful, beautiful bowl. Oje de carne. Muchas gracias, Mama Digna. Okay, this is my Oje de carne dance. I'm doing it. <laughs> so excited. Mama, bailar. Preparado con amor. I'm more. And you can hear Mama Digna. She's got a little bit of an accent. She puts a little shh on the end. That's a very Costa Rican thing. Instead of amor, amor shh. I love it. <laughs> Preparado con amor shh. Amor shh. Right? That's a Tico old school. Oh, yeah. A little bit of an <laughs> accent. A on little shh on the end. Mm -hmm. I love it. <laughs> it is. It's cute. I love it too. Mm -hmm. Comes from Mama. With love. Juan well, Carlos is taking it to the table. So we'll see you at our table momentarily. And one other little bit of information, oja de carne, the name of the dish, oja means pot. So basically it's pot of meat. So there you go. Big, and that's what we made, a big giant pot of meat with a lot of other yummy goodies. So now you know. Provecho. 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 Okay, everyone. A moment of truth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, so I got off the plane two weeks ago, two and a, two and a half weeks ago, and the bowl of this was waiting for me at Juan Carlos' parents' house. And now I'm getting ready to head back in just a couple more days, and I get to end with another delicious, delicious bowl of oja de carne. Mm hmm. And now you all got a little taste of Costa Rica with us. As we say in Costa Rica, Pura Vida. Pura Vida. Pura Vida. Pura Vida to all of you. We're going to enjoy this dinner and a little bit of peace and quiet. But from our home to yours, Pura Vida. Pura Vida. And as we always say, Happiness is a lifestyle. Como se dice en español? La felicidad es un estilo de vida. There you go. So, Mama Digna, muchas gracias. Con mucho gracias. gusto. Say goodbye to everyone. <laughs> and if you haven't done so yet, hit that like button. Especially, hello, do it for Mama Digna. <laughs> Give us a thumbs up. And uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Until next time, everyone. Ciao, ciao. Bye-bye.